biggest impacts spy agencies have had on cryptography. Number four, ranked by engagement bait. First of all, leave a like. DES, or the Data Encryption Standard. In 1973, the department that became the National Institute of Standards and Technology put out a call for proposals for an algorithm that they would use to encrypt their unclassified data. In 1974, IBM rose to the occasion. Part of IBM's design is what we call S-boxes. To put it simply, they add another level of scramble to the data. The S-box is not secret. The only secret in this whole system should be your private key. The NSA was paying attention to all the proposals that were submitted. And this by itself isn't crazy. The best cryptographers in the world likely work for spy agencies, so it's not unusual for spy agencies to lend their expertise to review cryptographic designs. This one was a little strange though. To quote Alan Conheim, one of the developers who worked for IBM, we sent the S-boxes off to Washington. They came back and were all different. So the NSA intervened, made changes, and then sent back these secret black boxes. Hmm. 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 They weakened the cipher so they could break it, said some. This is clearly a backdoor, said others. Turns out it was fine. The changes that the NSA made were actually crucial in keeping DES safe from a new form of code breaking that the NSA had just discovered called differential cryptanalysis. So why keep the exact details of these S-boxes secret then? Well, it's simple. The NSA didn't want their adversaries to know what they had discovered. The NSA wanted DES to be safe without giving up exactly what DES was safe from. We didn't even realize that these changes that the NSA implemented improved the security of DES until we independently discovered differential cryptanalysis in the 90s. At that time, we found that the old crusty dusty DES algorithm from 15 years earlier was safe from this new technique because of those mysterious S-boxes. Anyway, that's all I got here. I'm Dr. Mehdi. Like and follow for more.